Today alone, I'm gonna be making $300. So that was the worst game I've had to wreck in a while. So we got a red card. Today was a pretty crazy day, but it all started here. So I was gonna walk you through my morning, but I was feeling pretty sick and I was in a hurry. So here's what I was gonna say. I'm gonna be working a long day today, 11 hours, and I'm gonna be getting paid $315. I'm supposed to be there 15 minutes early, and I was supposed to be there about five minutes ago. My game starts in 10 minutes, and I'm just now leaving. Hopefully, it'll be all right. All right, I made it. Safe, don't worry. All right, so I'm gonna have to ref in these. Like, I've been wearing these for two years, and they hurt really bad to run in. I ordered new shoes, but they still haven't came, so let's see how these go. So I can't really film while refing, but I'll explain what I do as a referee every time that I was refing a game. And I thought it would be a cool shot to give you a yellow card, but I didn't even get it in frame. And after only half of a game, my feet hurt so bad, I had to switch into my Birkenstocks. So normally for a soccer game, Game, there are three referees one in the middle with a whistle and two on the sideline with flags i'll tell you more about your job at each throughout the day as i rotate between them all the first few games i'm refing are only with one other person so there's two of us we are diagonal from each other and that graphic on the screen will show you what each of us are in charge of and since i have a whistle this game here's what it sounds like so there's two of us with whistles and we're in charge of the whole field all right, so it's currently 9.55 a.m., almost 10. My next game's at 10.15, so I have like 20 minutes break. I actually got a paycheck. I'm not gonna show you the other side, and I'm also not looking at it because I haven't seen how much money it is yet. Today, I'm making 300, but that's more than normal. So this is gonna be from two weeks of refing. So from two weeks of refing, I made Oh, it's upside down. $360. That's actually a little bit less than I thought it would be. It's not bad though for two days of work. Last weekend I made 200, but today alone I'm gonna be making $300, which is basically this paycheck. All right, I should probably go start this game. I switched from my red to blue refing jersey because the team we were refing is red and I don't want any confusion. In this game I was sideline refing, so I have a flag. Saying whose ball it is when it goes out of bounds and calling off sides are my main two priorities. After that game I was pretty hungry, so I went to go to the snack shack to get a burger because my league gives us referees free food. All right, so the game I'm supposed to be reffing starts in about 15 minutes, but I gotta eat. And then the other guy I'm reffing with, he had to go like feed a dog that he was house sitting for. My legs are pretty dead, only two games in, but that's $100 real quick. It's um, 11.47, almost 12. Yeah, I guess that's it. And again, this game, I was AR, AKA the assistant referee, AKA the one on the sideline. And here's a signal I do when there's an offsides call. To explain it really simply, offsides is when a player gets past the ball while they're behind the other team's defenders. And almost every parent that complains about the calls we make has no clue what offsides even is. Is. And I was really tired here because after refing for a while, my legs start to ache really bad. Halfway there. Good thing and a bad thing. Halfway done, but that went by really slowly. So my boss or whatever manager told us to get cards because apparently the team we're gonna ref next is known for having like really bad sportsmanship. I remember refing them last week. They beat a team 14 to one. They're just messing around the whole time. Anyway, I'm not looking forward to that. I'm tired and these allergies are killing me. All right, the team is not showing up. As you can see, this team's here, but this team is not. If it gets canceled, I still get paid and I get a break. So this can be awesome. Hopefully they don't show up. All right, since there's no game, I'm just gonna head home. My allergies are so bad, I need to get like a tissue and then, I don't know, maybe retake my allergy medicine. It was really gonna suck having to work 11 hours with no breaks. So let me just talk about how much you get paid real quick. So I am working about 11 hours today and I'm gonna pay $300. So that's, it was like 27 point something dollars per hour. So that's not bad. Plus free food, plus free drinks. Sometimes like bonuses and stuff like this happening where I get to go home and still get paid. But anyways, I'll see you guys when I'm home. All right, I'm back. My allergies are even worse now. But I have another $100 that needs to be made, so I gotta go. Game two was a pretty average game. I was AR, so I was the ref on the sideline, and it all went pretty good. It was a girls game, so it's normally a little bit less rough and a bit easier to ref because they don't complain as much, but I was not prepared for the next game. It was the best team in the league versus the team with the worst sportsmanship.
Oh my goodness, bro. That was the worst game I've had to ref in a while. So it was the first game I was like actually center ref by myself. So there was two side refs and then me as center. It was bad the whole game, even before the game started. I was just trying to check them in, like have them stand in line, knock on their shin guards, all that type of stuff. And they were just not paying attention. They would come up to me and just like say like old memes. Just, I don't even know why. Like one of them was just looking at me. One of the one that was annoying. And my boss had to like go talk to them. This lady brought a rule book of our league and was trying to tell us our rules were wrong. But she was kind of wrong. We were kind of wrong too, but it was like a like a gray area. But my legs are killing me. I did the entire day in Birkenstocks from 8.30 to 7. I'm ready to go home. All right, so after resting, I'll pretty much always do one of these three things. The first thing I might do if I have enough energy is go hang out with friends. This night, we stopped at a few stores, got that monkey, and then went to the park. Most of my friends have been learning how to backflip, so one of them did one off this rock. And I've been practicing doing them in the water, and I did one off a ledge on the ground for the first time the other day. But when I tried it on flat ground earlier in the video, as you can see, it did not go very well. But I decided to try again. Ready? You going? Yeah, go. You rolling? And that was my first ever backflip on flat ground. Three, two, one, go. I'm a photographer. And it felt so good that I decided to do it on concrete with my Burks on. That was easy. So I guess I could do a backflip now. Then we went to McDonald's to get the Travis Scott meal. You already know what I'm here for. I don't find that funny. But unfortunately, we were like three years late, so we just got ice cream instead. Can I get one ice cream cone, please? <laughs> three! Wait, can I get three? Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> 2.30! <laughs> Damn! Alright, thank you. We are taxing, that's just not for a dollar. <laughs> And then for the rest of the night, we just kind of drove around. And after wrapping, if I don't hang out with friends, then I'll usually edit a video for TikTok or YouTube. And judging by the fact that I haven't uploaded in three months, it seems like I don't do this a lot. It's because I was mostly focused on making shorts that would get like a few hundred views. And for some reason, after I finally saw some success and got one with over 50K views, I'm deciding to switch back to focusing on long form. But the main thing stopping me from posting more long form videos is school because of classes like AP language and composition. But back to the point of the video, if I don't hang out with friends or edit a video, I probably just went home laid down, didn't get up for a few hours, and ended up falling asleep, which is exactly what I did after filming this video. And that's why I don't have a second part of the video, because I was too tired to even film what I had for dinner. And when I mentioned that you get pretty good pay for refing, I get a lot of comments asking how to become a referee. So here's how I would do it if you're interested. Every league is different, so I just recommend going to the field where the game is played. And when the game is over, just go up to the referees and ask them how to sign up and what you need to do. And now that I got this video to eight minutes, I could get mid-roll ads. So thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like. And if you like content about finance, then I'd I'd appreciate if you dropped a sub and if you want to know how I made $123 in an hour then you can watch this video right here.